What is up you guys and girls, Vlad here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now as you probably already know, there's this challenge going around the internet and it is called the I mailed myself in a box challenge. Or you can also call it the human mail challenge which I think sounds a lot better. But in today's video, we're going to be counting down 5 of the most scariest, luckiest and even funniest I mailed myself in a box challenges. Now guys, before we get into this video, I have two very important things to tell you. So the first thing is that I have a question that I want you guys to answer down below in the comments right now. So the question is, if you had to spend an entire week in a cardboard box traveling all around the world, what would be the one important thing you would bring with you? Comment it down below and I'll try to reply to as many of you guys as possible. So the second thing I want to tell you guys is that I am in a Christmas song alongside with many many more other YouTubers. Basically like 25 YouTubers were flown out to Amsterdam including me by Hello Management and we created this really really awesome Christmas song. Everyone thinks it's a really good song and you can check out a preview of the song including my part in like one second. And I don't Girl, I wouldn't feel right. Something in the air, it was love at first sight. Yeah. So yeah, the link to the full thing will be down below in the description. You can check it out after this video and leave a nice comment, you know, tell them Vlad sent you, blah, 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 you know what to do. But yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's get into the countdown. So for number five, we have Rice Gum, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys and girls know who he is because he's very popular and his videos are amazing. But yeah, he basically tried to mail himself to a random address and I don't know how to explain this, but it didn't go too well because he met up with this guy that was like very big and scary and yeah. I'm going to be shipping myself from the post office to California because I just want to find an affordable way to travel and meet my California friend. All right, guys, it's pretty secure, but yeah, this is where I'm going to be spending probably uh, four or five days. But I can't just ship myself in this box. I mean, it's going to be so boring. I'm going to get hungry, stuff like that. So let's pick up some stuff. I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, um, once again, not sure where I am right now. I should be- Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Ah, 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 whoa, 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 where? Whoa, where am I, bro? Nigga, you in my house. What? What you doing, man? I don't know, bro. I was doing some YouTube thing. I didn't- What you fucking doing in that box, man? Bro, I'm not no, like, I'm not trying to hurt you. I- I come in peace, bro. You come in peace. No, I'm playing with. Ah! Now, I'm not totally sure if it's 100% real because the big muscly guy, he is also a YouTuber, so they might have talked something out. But still, at the same time, if I ended up in someone's random house and it was that guy, I would, I, I would piss my pants. Anyway, next up is Morgs, who's a 15-year-old teenager from United Kingdom, and he basically tried to ship himself loose ship himself loose. He basically tried to mail himself like he do in the challenge, but at the end, when he got to the house, there was a big surprise because apparently someone tried to kidnap him. I know it might sound crazy, like how can someone just get kidnapped at such a young age, even though that's when people get kidnapped. But yeah, anyway, have a look. So we need to go, we need to get out of here. Now we need to go, guys, we need to go. Oh, who's there? No, so this is the bike. What the? Get out of the way! What? Holy shit. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I popped out of a random box in a random person's house and there was someone trying to kidnap me, I would be very, very scared. So I don't blame him at all. And I also want to say that he's a very good actor because in case you didn't know, that was a skit, which I think is insane because the acting was on point. But the scary thing is that the next few ones that we're going to be watching are 100% real and trust me, they're very creepy and funny because there's there's a funny one in this next one i'm gonna let you guys and girls judge because i'm not totally sure if it's real or fake basically another guy mailed himself in a cardboard box and he somehow ended up in some stranger's garden but that happened to be not the only place he ended up in bro it's not spacious at all all right cal i'll see you later bro i'm claustrophobic oh my god <laughs> oh, dude this is tough as well. oh my god it's so dark no Bro, it's just so lit. Alright, uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. Alright, y'all. So, I got Kyra here right now, y'all. She is coming. She is right down there. Let's take Kaylin back to his house. Make him think it's UPS. It's about to be so lit. Here's Kyra. You're a savage. You're a savage. Alright, so we have to take him back to his house right now. To the house. Yeah. To the house right now. Are you ready? Yeah, let's let's freaking do this. Let's go. No, no, no! That must have been so terrible, like imagine being in a cardboard box for 24 hours and you're tired and you're hungry and you're just like really uncomfortable and the next thing you know, you end up in a freezing pool of water. And I'm saying freezing water because this video was filmed very recently and I don't think we're in the summer season anymore. Okay, so this next one is very scary, like I don't know if it's scarier than the first one because the first one is like really scary, but it's still scary because this guy mailed himself to a random house and ended up getting attacked by something. So we're going home, so I'm gonna text Bijan real quick. That was very hard for me to watch because I don't know if you guys know this, but when I was five, I got bitten in the left butt cheek by a dog and it had a huge impact on me. Now, don't get me wrong. I love dogs. I love puppies. They're all really cute. But when I see a big dog that's barking at me, it's just, I, I need to run. Actually, comment down below if you're scared of big dogs too, because I don't want to feel lonely. I want to feel included in a group. So let me know down below. Okay, so moving on to the last one. I don't know, but I think you need to prepare yourself to hear this. Basically, there's this guy on YouTube called Kill Them For The Win and he did something crazier than any of the previous ones okay i don't like labeling people as crazy but just hear me out for a minute this guy kill him fdw dug himself a grave and buried himself alive for 24 hours nope you didn't hear me wrong this guy stayed underground for 24 hours check it out okay so now the camera is passed over to me and then the girlfriend's gonna cover us up Alright, let's go. I've read somewhere online you get like three to four hours in a normal coffin if you're buried alive. This box is like twice the size as a coffin. I'm pretty confident that one hour is enough oxygen in here to last. Oh, it needs to change position. Ooh. It's been about 15 minutes right now. It feels like an hour already. It's getting very hot in here. Just enough to send anyone crazy. It won't. It won't. I can see daylight. No way. Go. <coughs> ah, 
We're gonna go. We just gotta go and eat the whole drink. Yeah, I like the way he was enthusiastic at the start, but when he got towards near the end, he was almost dying. I'm very happy for him because honestly, that would have been such a terrible way to die. But anyway, hopefully you guys and girls enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit different than the normal stuff I do. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment down below what you would bring with you if you were stuck in a box for a whole week. See you guys in my next video, but until then, don't forget to stay beautiful, smile, and be happy. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>